Hi, this is Kevin with KDM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Um, I did something that many might think right now is idiotic. Uh, I kind of, I'm kind of going the, you know, people are running one way and I'm going the other. And the current trend seems to be to drop down, uh, down into silver, down into bronze, you know, whatever it is that your strategy is going to tell you. And I went into the diamond. The reason was, is I could, <laughs> I just, I, when I had that opportunity, I took it and I'm not a natural, I'm barely a natural gold too. So now you understand why I say idiotic, but here's the reason. Uh, I, I keep changing my strategy. We got three minutes before I can uh, pull the chest up. And with the rentals I got yesterday for the earth, my powers three, I, I can go to diamond two if I want, 327, 167. Now I'm going to lose those, right? And I'll go back down to whatever my natural without my rentals is like 150. Uh, in fact, I got some rented out, so it might be down to 140, 130. And I'm actually kicked back in the gold one. So why would I do that? Because my new strategy, right or wrong, is renting gold cards. Why? Because of this baby right here, capture rate. Uh, so I, I, it's going to be low if I want to play every day. I could skip days. I could do all sorts of stuff, but I want to play every day. I want to open chest every day. And when I rent gold cards, and believe it or not, these cards I'm about to show you, I rent it for 30 cents for the day. And I'm winning that much in DEC a day pretty much. Plus, when you're playing, you're winning. Um, but So I'm trying to get 70% just in my gold cards. And then I'm also concentrating on renting Bravo, Alpha, and promo cards, which gives me, I, I can perpetually go on at 100% at that rate as long as I can afford it. And if I'm at least breaking even, I can. So let's go look at what I run. We had a couple minutes. Let's go look at what I run it. And now these cards that I rent, I rent it for gold level. So once I got into diamond, I was kind of getting my ass kicked, which... I wasn't diamond too, but worse than diamond. I, I mean, I wasn't gold too, but I was getting my ass kicked worse than diamond, which is because those cards are more maxed out at max level. Okay, so rent it to me. And, oh, they're all gone. I must have rented it early. Okay, damn, I was hoping to show you. Uh, I couldn't afford him in gold, but I got, damn, I wish I, how could I, sh oh, I know how to show you. I'll go back to here. And on the battles, we can look in the battles, and I'll just show you. Okay, I got to find the ones where I'm pretty. Okay, that was a gold. Okay, so one, two, three, four golds I rented. And this, um, the Xander Foxwood, was the. it's a two-mana earth summoning card with no abilities. And I didn't care because it was cheap. I got them for like 20 DEC for the day. But it's gold. So that gave me 10%. And so I was getting four to six gold cards because I own some gold cards too that I could use uh, depending on what the rules were. But, you know, at least minimum four. So that's 40%. So what I'm saying is that overcomes the capture rate and I can just keep battling. Now I stopped early. All right, here let's let's go refresh that. We can open up the rewards. But anyway, that's my new strategies. I'm going to rent. Now it's going to be a lot more expensive. I might have really messed up. I might not be able to afford to stay in diamond. And it's coming. It's the worst part of the season to do it with three days left. But um, if I can meet, you know, if I can squeak out ten chests. 
and an hour, you know, I can play an hour in the morning, hour at night type thing. It's a challenge. I'm going to, you can follow me here and see if I'm able to do it. Uh, I was definitely able to do it this one. 327,167 collection power. Most, half of that's rentals. That's how powerful the cards were that I was renting. And, and of course, gold. But don't forget, you also get a bonus on win streak. And at, at sometimes I was getting 90% uh, bonus. Now, these are, I believe, because I was in gold last year. See here, this helps pay for my rentals tonight, today, which I have not done yet. So I believe these are still gold. There's a rare, nice. Uh, gold level rewards at 152. But see, up in diamond, my, my dark energy crystals will be even more because of the multiplier. There's another two rare cards. Nice. Nothing earth shattering, but I'll take it. Another 168, so that's really helping. Another 80. So, fantastic. So I got, what, about 400 DEC to help me. Uh, and you're like, well, you're kind of breaking even. Yeah, so, you know, live live the fight another day. And what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, so close it. All right, so not not a bad pull. So I'm back up to 390. So let's say I spend, I'll spend six to nine hundred. It's about a dollar, guys. And then I'll probably win about a dollar back. And that's what you want it. Now, if you start paying a dollar out a day and you're only getting, you know, two cents back, then that's not good, right? Um okay, so where are we at here? Uh let me pop I gotta fix something real quick. Okay, you know what? I forgot that I was only showing you the regular foil rentals. This is what I rented. Uh, I had to show you the gold, too. Um, this was three mana. I got all this for 30 cents, guys. I This is only, I only got, the, and I only get the level I need. Uh, sometimes you don't get much more in the higher level, so just go cheaper, you know? Uh, I used, and I use these in every battle. This was actually a really good summoner. And a gold card. Uh, here's my tank. I love this guy. Couldn't get him in gold. He's very expensive, very popular. I own this one, so I didn't have to rent it. I rented this one, and I rented these two. Even I have this one maxed out, but not in gold. But it was so cheap. These two were, I mean, believe it or not, they were very cheap to rent out. And actually, I did rent this out because I have it not in gold, but in regular foil. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at the minimum, I always got 10% because of the summoner. And I use, you know, because that's what I, it's fifth level. The fifth level brought me in high enough for what I needed to get the job done. Now, am I going to be able to rent the higher level? I don't know. There might, there, there's a problem is a lot of them weren't even available. Uh, so you, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Uh, I'll, then you'll know tomorrow. I'll show you the results. Um, I might have made a mistake going in the diamond right now. It, it, it Because I see a wave coming on gold cards, uh, especially on the rentals. Because if I'm realizing this, other people are. It's the only way to get around the capture rate. Uh, unless, you, unless you're really conservative and you stay, um, you know, you, but how... If you're not winning every battle, if you win every battle, you can probably get 10 to 20 chests and still keep it at, at above 50% capture rate. But if you're like me and you're getting your butt whipped and you're winning one in every four or five battles, then it's going to take 75% of your capture rate. So this is kind of like the only option I got as far as I'm as far as I, I know right now. So um Okay, so coming back here to the um, the battle page, the dragon is the focus for tomorrow. So I'm going to have to uh, strategize on how to rent. And, you know, maybe I can, maybe I don't. Then if that's the case, I'll just win a few, you know, chests in the next few days, each day. And then uh, I got 55 chests coming. But then, but it also means I'm stuck in diamond for the, for the next, but... I'll only come down to mid gold. So I, I think I'm in good shape. I know a lot of people want to drop down into bronze 
and you get a lot more. And I, is more better? Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. And I've been harping on this, though, but I'm, I'm real conscious of beating up on the newbies. Uh, we want to encourage them as much as possible. I don't think flooding their playing zone is is that's my opinion I, I i could be totally wrong maybe it doesn't affect at all uh going to my affiliate program my one person who's playing uh wrong one he he or she showed back up i all, all i know is it's ronnie 500 i uh so hasn't given up yet just keep plugging away there uh, I'm sure you got chest by now and you'll be getting more here at the end of the season. And, but that's what I mean. If, if we can get them to stick around long enough to, to learn this game, they're going to love it. Uh, anybody who's played any card games knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, this is blowing me away and I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. So I'll be looking forward to when Yu-Gi-Oh, if ever catches up or, or gets online, but are they, let me tell you something. Uh, tops NFTs. I am not. I'm not having a good time with their platform. I don't like the way. I, I was. I just don't like the way they do it. The Panini is doing more of a collectors like NFT set than Tops is. And um, in fact, I think Tops has lost some with the physical cards. Anyway, they lost the license. But but even if Yu-Gi-Oh does come online, are they going to be able to do as good a job as Splinterlands? That that's. That's the million dollar question. Anybody can go online uh, and make NFTs, but are they going to be able to make a system that works as good as Splinterlands? And let me tell you something. I haven't, I haven't come across uh, anything like Splinterlands yet. I've, uh, Vivi's promising to be like what Splinterlands is doing and much, much more, but they're very slow and methodical. They're going to be, I think, a few years to get really going, even though they're open now in a way. Um, I mean, there's there's better platforms out there than Splinterlands, but nobody is as advanced as Splinterlands that I have found that also takes fiat because I won't deal with any platform that only takes crypto. And I think I represent a big chunk of the population when I say that. Um, so anyway, let's go look at... Uh, Here's the peak monsters. So the value has plummeted again, even more. And to give you an idea of how much value I'm renting in those gold cards, I'm going to take off owned and do all the cards that are in my set right now. And it's $4,000.81. That's the, so you're talking about $3,200 with the cards I rented for 30 cents. That just blows me away. Um, I'm only getting um, 96 DEC from the rentals that I rented out, the few that I did. Uh, they're just low. Uh, every, shockingly, rental prices are still low. I don't know why that is. So let's go look at a comment made by Polinio345. Try out screen zoom 75% or less on Splinterlands. Yeah, um, I that was bothering me and I just got used to it and uh, I'm going to get that fixed. I just got to go in there and figure out how to do it. Uh, but thank you for the reply. Uh, that's how I learn. People point things out all the time. And now let's go look at my numbers. First, let's go to the Splinterlands strategy. Uh, 30 chest max daily per account, 150 for the end of season. But with multiple accounts, you can get a lot more. Uh, for to, to beat the capture rate problem, gold rent gold cards or buy them, Alpha Bravo promo, join a guild and win streak. Those right there are huge. And I think it's all of them. There might be one I didn't. Oh, win, yeah, win streak. I got it right there. Um, love the 24 hour focus because you can rent out and use it the whole 24 hours instead of just five battles. Now you could use it all 24 hours last time but you weren't guaranteed to always have your element in every battle and you do now you got to be careful with renting um uh not independent but uh or neutral the the 
because if that pops up, you can't use them in any of the battles. And it, and it tends to pump up more than in, uh, often than not. Ashley NFT Gaming, go check her out. Bulldog1206, check him out. Infidel12 or Dwayne Cunningham, check him out. Luke Plays to Earn, check him out. Walking Keys and Gank and Gank and Walking Keys, check them out. Gathering the Magic. He's doing, <coughs> excuse me, he's doing a simple three videos a day of his uh, rewards. And one bronze, one silver, and I think another one in bronze. Um, go check it out and see if, I, I don't think I was getting much better than he was, which is, it might just be me and, and it might just be, for a particular day, but it, we need to keep an eye on that because that that would be huge. If if I'm not getting much better, you know, uh, now that I'm in diamond, I should be getting a lot better starting next season. Uh, but that's something. To keep, but anyway, they're minute long videos. Go check them out. Uh, Splinterlands TV on Twitch and weekly AMA. I think they're on every Monday. I don't have time to watch the entire AMA, so I'm dependent on the summary that they mail me and uh, watching uh, these other YouTubers. And there's more. I'll add them as I, I think about it. Uh, here's my numbers. It's the 12th of June. And um, here's the rules I go by. Day 161. I've bought 129 packs. Six I've bought with DC. One I've won. So that's 100. I think 37, 36. Uh Tomorrow, I, I will put in the $10 today, but I won't count it till tomorrow. Every other day, add 10 bucks. So I, it's not in today's numbers is what I'm saying. I, I do that so I get that free SPS bonus. Every little bit adds up. You can check out any of these dates. I've only missed two since I started this. So here's the 12th. See, it's down to 842. 175 cards, 57, 24 in the box. 169,217. Uh, collection power, new record. Every day's been a new record. Seventy-eight dollars, all-time low, on the SPS. And I'm at negative two profit with thirty-nine fifty-two DEC. So I'm basically ten thousand and two dollars away from getting to my goal, and I have six months to go. But I. Me being Mr. Time and I joined at the worst every I, I joined at the worst time and the best time because I've been dollar cost averaging and I've been getting a lot of cheap stuff. So when it does go back up, I'm going to be in really good shape. But as of right now, uh, you'd say, well, the numbers look bad. But look at this number, guys. I'm at one hundred seventy thousand collection power. I've got all this free SPS, about twelve hundred worth. Now, it's it's an all time high of 80 cents. It's now at six cents, I think. And that that negative two dollars, which is now a tax write-off, is after I pay myself back this nine hundred and twenty-four bucks. So I so I'm basically broken even at this point after six months. And you're like, well, what the hell? No, I I look at this, and I'm in I'm in a lot better shape than this number, because look at just two weeks ago it was at three hundred bucks. Then before that, it was at negative 59, negative 50 bucks. It's like a yo-yo right now. And this number, I could easily have two, three thousand dollars sitting in here in the next few days if when things start mooning. And, and they will. Uh, I've seen this before with the D's, with the uh, crypto. Um, when I had the Bitcoin, I've been through two crypto winners now, and it's always the same MMO. They the prices plummet. The FUD comes out. People start selling, giving stuff away. Well, guess who's – and I'm not saying this about Splinterlands because I don't know if the institutions are you know, paying attention to Splinterlands. But on the crypto, especially Bitcoin, if you, if you go back and look at what they were doing during these crypto winners, they're buying. It's, it's a coordinated effort. You know, it sounds, it sounds uh, like it's uh, – um, uh, uh, what do you call it? What's that word? Uh, well, whatever it is, um, that that all the prices get pushed down. Well, they're buying in, and, and whether it is or not, that's what smart people do. 
They buy when the streets are in blood and they they sell it when it's high. Where we, the general public, tend to do it opposite. We sell it when it's high or, or we sell it when it's high and we won't buy when it's low because we think it's no good. Now, this is not financial advice. This is me on risk. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please like and subscribe and join any of the links below really helps me out. But, you know, through through coordinated FUD, whether it's um, done on purpose or not, that they're waiting with cash on the side. And so anyway, when crypto got real low and the last time the low was down to about thirty five hundred dollars on Bitcoin, that was the one the last one I was involved with. I had bought in at ten thousand and it had plummeted. So I'm down seven grand per Bitcoin right now, you know, all of a sudden. And it's like, well, there's you're reading stories. People are selling. They're just getting out. They're sick of it, blah, blah, blah. And then they, everybody buys in who knew that it was going to, and then it goes up to 60000 Now, I sold it at 18. I doubled my money. I got out. I didn't think it was going to go that high. It did. It went up. To, so I missed out on forty grand. Uh, Dogecoin, I missed out on 142 grand because I sold too early. But the point I'm making is I've seen this before. And I, I'm not banking on it's going to do it like the fact that, you know, I'm betting that the house, but dollar cost averaging is beautiful right now. It's, it's you know, I'm talking five or 10 bucks. If things are going to 10, 20, 50, 1,000 X, that can add up to a lot of money. It really can. So anyway, I feel good about the $10,000 challenge. I know the numbers kind of don't show that. And um, anyway, that's it. So I'm at 55 chess. I'm going to have a good end of season. A lot of people are. I think everybody is. Uh, I'll probably get in the next three days, uh, maybe up to 70. I don't know. It depends on what I can rent and how bad I get my ass kicked in diamond. But um, let's go look here real quick. Not going on much with the packs. The packs might only be dwindling. I don't know if people are buying them or they're, it's the ones they're giving away because there's there's 33,332,000 up to the next drop and a total of 6 million. So we definitely are going to have packs maybe into next the middle of next year. Um, I, I kind of like it though. I like having the option, even though I'm not buying them right now because the value in them is so low. But remember, um, uh, uh, what I said that I wish they would do is start a buyback program. And the, and I don't know if that's the correct term, but what they could do is start, they could start a fund, uh, uh put it to the side. However they did that, I, I, I don't know, but they could buy the floor on, Alpha, Bravo, you know, all the retired cards that, you know, are, aren't, that you just can't get anymore that most players can't afford and start inserting them into the Chaos Legion packs. And one, it would help out everybody. It would help distribute the cards to newer players because they'd win them in the packs. It would put more money into the OGs who've got those cards and can't sell them because, you know, the price is too much. I mean, just just a whiff that there's a chance you could win a card like that would probably drive the pack, you know, not prices, but the pack sells through the roof. Um, it's just an idea. I, I don't know if it's even possible that they could do that. Uh, the other one that I have is on Bronx is that um, – once you leave Bronx, you can never go back. That would create a safe haven for newbies to let them learn the game, beat up on each other, and not have to deal with, you know, OGs coming down there. Uh, that might not be a very popular ideal to some of you. I think it's a great ideal. I think the more we uh, take care of the newbies and get the, the better we're going to be in the long run. Uh, leave a leave a comment if you disagree. I, I think that's anyway. Validators, uh, they're going slowly but surely, but I think they're going to be. I'm hoping they stay in this group until December when I might be able to swing buying one. And, and I'm collecting my vouchers. 
And um, so anyway, that's it. Let's go check out land, make sure they haven't started sub land. See how that pops out like that? I wonder if something's coming. That might have been the old one. I don't know. My potions, I am just accumulating them left and right. But once the value in a pack goes up, I'll start using these again and all that. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, join any of the links below. And come back and check tomorrow what I rented for Diamond. Uh, and what was the focus? It was Dragon. So that's even tougher. Um, anyway. Anyway.